Welcome back to A Farm West of Boring, where life is anything but boring. So today we are going to be looking at uh, finishing up the log bunk. I keep talking about finishing up the log bunk and I don't do it. So I think today I just better go ahead and do that. Also, we have this big log on the log bunk. So I've got to figure out what to do with that. Yesterday or last evening I put that on there and had some issues with this one beam over here. It's an 8x8 eight eight beam. But it, was, it looked to me like it was sagging. I'm not really sure if it was or not. But I went ahead and lifted the log up and I put a little bit of uh, blocking underneath the middle of it, which I'm, I'm really glad I've uh, had that uh, idea. I need to put some blocking under the middle of these so that they're, they're not just spanning that whole distance. So that's something I need to work on today. And another thing I need to do today is get back here and clean out some of the sawdust it's starting to pile up. So got a, some five gallon buckets here. We'll go ahead and clean some of that out of there. Got me a shovel. Got me some buckets. Gonna do some sawdust. Pretty good load of sawdust for the lady of the farm. I'll take it up there and see where she wants to dump it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spread these things out a little bit because I want to lift this log off of here for now and while I reinforce this bunk. Uh, but I want to spread these out a little bit so the log will it'll carry the log a little bit better. BB Blaster. It's the farmer's best friend. Always nice to get these things used. Here's a wrench that has been around the farm for as long as I can remember. And it says it is a Pronto, Pronto Los Angeles. Forged alloy steel. Wow, 716-S, I think is what it says. But that thing has been around the farm for ages, and that is one heck of a wrench for getting stuff undone. Or... So there we go. It's 
It's good for a hammer also. Okay, well, that worked pretty well. So let's just set that over here for now. Out of the way while I work on the uh, log monk. Okay, so I've made my scribes here. Can't probably see that. Uh, to show where that needs to go. And so that'll go down an inch and a half from the top of that board. But then this one, I really need to start at an inch and a half and then I need to scribe it down. I need to start at an inch and a half and then scribe it down. So we'll see how my scribing goes. Okay, so that's my scribe, but I don't think I have to do that. Because if I go down an inch and a half in the other board, then that's just going to sit down there flat. Yeah, I have to think through this. So I've got the skill saw set at a half inch and a half deep. I'm going to make a straight as a cut across here as I can. And we'll take that notch out. Okay, so I made a number of scores there. We'll dig those out and see how it goes. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and take the chainsaw and we'll try and smooth that out a little bit. I think that's pretty good. Let's see what the measurements end up being. This is right on eight inches. Oh boy, we're a little bit over eight and a, eight and a quarter. How did I end up with that? Let's set it over there and we'll see. Well, that's not too bad. Fits in there. Fits in there nice. So now I guess I don't really need to take an inch and a half square cut out of this one. This is where I need to... Help me please. Got to be somebody out there who knows how to do this. Okay, so I guess the real issue is in here. Because if I cut this up an inch and a half, then it's got to be trimmed down to follow this. Okay, so I put the square in there, and that's an inch and a half. So if I draw a line across there, so that would be if this log just came straight up, and here, if it came straight up then I would cut that. But as it is, I have to take into account, this will be out of here, so this, this will all, This will drop straight down onto that. But if that's the case, then this has to be taken out. So I think then what I need to do is draw this down. Okay, so I think that's what it is. I, I need to follow this line here, which is this here. And then this is gonna sit flat on here. So I gotta go across here to here. And then to follow that down, it's going to go to here, but it will be, doesn't need to go out to here because there's nothing out there. So <laughs> let's see how that works. I'll have to transfer this over to the other side too. Okay, well, some of you may be laughing at me because I'm not very good at this, but 
I'm gonna learn. We'll see how this goes. There we go. I don't know how the slope is on those, but I guess we'll flip it over and we'll see what happens. And now I see why that beam over there seemed to be splitting. Because there's a big knot right in the middle of it. It doesn't go all the way through. But I think it's still strong enough that if we put some support underneath midsection, it should still be okay. Well, I think I've got this pretty well set up. I need to just make some supports for underneath this four and a half inches. I've trimmed the ends off so that the ramps there will fit right in there with the right, right, this right angle. We'll put solid blocking underneath that over there to help support that beam. But I think we're doing pretty well. Make some good, made some good progress. Now let's get some timber lock screws and screw it together and put some bracing on it i think that's we're good to go welcome to the finished log bunk it's uh pretty much finished i mean there's some things i could do to change it but i've notched out with that rail there and we've got uh, uh, timber lock screws going in there same for over on that side although you can't see it i've put in center supports for the here I've added a one of my two by two two by sixes that I just milled the, uh, yesterday, um, just to raise it up two inches, so it lines up better with the uh, four by eights. I mean the four by sixes. I cut the ends down so that when I use the ramps, the ramp will ramp will come to here and will go down and won't be coming up quite so high to get to that first spot. Gives a little bit more support. You can see over there I shortened that top rail. The bottom rail doesn't really matter. But the top beam I shortened. And then I took the uh, cutoffs from here and over there. And I put them in there sort of as blocks to keep the log from rolling off once you put the log on there. So there you go, that's, that's the uh, finished log bunk. Pretty much finished, 90% finished. Timber locks in there and in there. It's all timber locked together. Notched out there. I would say this thing is pretty darn solid and uh, I'm hoping for the best. So I'm gonna go get that uh, 16 foot log, the one that the tractor will just barely lift and I'm gonna lift it up here and we'll roll it on the mill here and see how it works. Again, one of the problems I've got is that that thing is 16 feet long and the opening here is actually 19 feet, but I don't know if I can roll it on there and then slide it. If I can roll it on and then slide it this way. Okay, so we got that loaded onto the bunk and I've got it so that it, oh boy, it's pretty tight at this end. This, door could actually go further that way but there's something holding it up down there so you may end up having to wrangle that out this end boy it just would fit so i think if i go in there sort of at an angle and then we might be able to slide it to one side i don't know how but all righty so we got that end past there and the way this log is i think i'm gonna end up cutting it off back right about there anyway so i don't know but at least this gives me some idea of how to handle this the other thing is i think i'm going to cut that door down at the bottom so i can get it open another foot that will certainly help at least with 16 footers
But here's what is nice is got it at an angle and now with this 4x4 which I cut yesterday I can go in here and, and look at this. This is how the Egyptians did it. That's how the Egyptians got their fir trees on their sawmills. Like this. Just that thing just very barely and slide it to the left. That's why I don't go to the gym. I don't need to go to the gym and lift weights. I'm lifting logs. Okay, so with the laser on, the laser on here, you can see it starts right about here, which is three, a little over three feet in, and then you follow that down, it's hard to, hard to see it sometimes, it's getting hidden by that, but here you can see it here, right there, So there's that. So that's where we would be if we cut that off right now. So I'd be taking basically two inches off here. So it looks like I'd be taking about two inches off of the whole thing if I follow it down to that point down there. But that's okay. I guess we could take a bunch of two by sixes and stuff out of the top here and then we'll I don't really even know what the, what the pit is like down at that end I'm not sure I'd be able to do anything about it I think we'll just go ahead and do it cut it the way it is now since I just cut this down and this I think this was off of the big tree so this cut right here was 25 feet about 27 feet up in the air so I don't think there's going to be any nails or anything here. I'm not 
can't guarantee it, but I don't think there are and there's not. I don't see any dirt. It was this end here that I drug and I don't we're not seeing dirt here. So I'll be able to get at least a a 12 footer, some good 12 foot stuff, and there might be a little bit of stuff left down there in that end. Well, there's a 16 foot 3 inch log. We've got one side cut. Got a couple of 1 inch boards out here. And we'll try to make that into a cant tomorrow. Just gotta get rid of that. Don't want to run into that with the saw blade. Okay. Looking good. Thanks for coming along today on our adventure of getting the log bunk finished up and loading a 16 foot 3 inch log onto it to see if we could get it through this door. And we were successful. We got one side cut off the log and I am ready to go in the morning. So if you liked the video today, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel and hit the notifications bell and we'll get a notification to you next time we put a video out. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you tomorrow.